Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a sad one and I am going to do my best not to cry, but I make no guarantees. Yesterday we had to say goodbye to our little dog Poe and you guys have seen him in so many videos over the years. He was getting old and over the past year and especially over the past six months, his health really went downhill and uh, he was basically in heart failure. He was having trouble breathing. He was having some kind of episodes. Uh, we never really figured out exactly what it was, but either many heart attacks or strokes or something where he would just lose all control of his body and not be able to pull himself together for a little while. So that was really hard to watch. So we had to make the heart-wrenching decision to have him put to sleep. So we did know that it was coming. We were able to spend time with him and enjoy the last few weeks and try to spoil him as much as possible. But it has been a very hard and emotional few days. I held it together really well. Um, you know, strong for the kids. And I'm thinking, you know, practically and logically, this is what needs to happen. This is the right choice. The vet, of course, confirmed all of that, that it was the right choice based on all of his symptoms. And so I was very strong this, these last few weeks, and it wasn't until I walked through the front door of the veterinary hospital yesterday where I, I basically lost it. And um, a lot of tears were shed. And then since then, I've been having periods of being okay, and then... I start talking about it or thinking about it too much and I break down again. So Autumn had really wanted to be there and go with me to the appointment um, because Poe has been Autumn's dog. We got Poe when Autumn was seven years old. So she, it was her, her dog. And, um, but sadly she had to work and she tried to get off work, but it, it just wasn't meant to be. So Talia ended up going with me. She wanted to, I made sure, you know, to talk her through it and that she knew what was going on and that she really wanted to be there and she did and she was a rock even though she was weeping the whole time. So we were able to be there together. We were with him all the way to the very end. When we were there I, I brought a chompstick in my purse and we were giving him treats and giving him lots of pets and telling him he was a good boy and The main thing that I wanted to tell him, which I did, was that he did a good job. He was so fiercely loyal to this family, and he wanted to protect his kids most of all, and he did a good job. I thought I would be able to make it through this video without too many tears. I thought I had cried enough of them <laughs> that I'd be able to make it through, but I'm having a hard time here. So we got Poe when Autumn was seven, and she's almost 17 now, so almost 10 years ago. And um, we got him when he was eight weeks old. Talia was one and a half, and I was pregnant with uh, Charity, our third. And I remember my husband and I were looking into getting a dog, and we, you know, were doing the research and trying to find the right one and where to get the right one. And I remember telling him that... Um, we either get a dog right now when I'm in my second trimester, because second trimester is usually when you have some energy and some motivation and are able to handle a little bit more. Um, we either do it right now or we're going to have to wait until the baby's like a year old. <laughs> um, so it was like it was like now or never. And we found him uh, pretty quickly. And so we were able to get him when I was in my second trimester. And I was able to manage having a puppy. We got him when he was eight weeks old. And he came from a litter where I think it was four girls. And he was the only boy. And he was the runt. And um, we joked that he went, you know, from his sisters that used to harass him and kind of bully him to the family with all the girls um, with us and all his life he was just used to being the one boy around all the girls finally of course Levi came along and they were able to be buddies and they were able to uh, team up against the girls Poe are you gonna meet your baby brother <laughs> yeah. he's accepted him as one of his own 
Jody, you're home. You I missed you. <laughs> you licked him in the ear. Good boy, boy. I think the I think Bo likes Levi. I think so. He didn't bark at him. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. That's good because I think he already. I think Bo already thought we we already had Levi. I know. Look, we because we did. He was already in my tummy. He probably already smelled Levi. Yep. Because Levi smells like me, right? Uh huh. But he was such a good dog, such a good easy puppy. I mean, of course, there's the house training, but all in all, it wasn't. It wasn't bad. He always knew what things were his and what things were not. He never chewed up the girls' toys. I never had to worry about him. Like when we left the house, uh, he didn't get into, you know, the garbage and things like that. He was just such a good, easy dog. So, of course, I've been going through lots of old photos and videos, just getting kind of a memory collection of Poe there. And, um, you know how on Google Photo you can tag animals and tag people and so it can recognize the animals or people in your pictures. And so I just searched Poe and what struck me when I was looking through it yesterday was just that he was always there. I look back on all these photos that I remember. I remember the photos um, because they were special photos and he's in them and I didn't even realize that he was in them. He's just always been there. For me, it's also been emotional looking at all of the, the pictures and videos because basically our time in our old house and our time with Poe, which is almost the exact same, is the season of life where I was having babies and so all of my baby memories and that whole season was spent in that in that house and with Poe as the constant companion. <laughs> so one video I found that I loved and I've forgotten about this. Whenever I would go in in the morning to get a baby out of the crib, it's like Poe would just be waiting for me to do that. And he would run up and he would be right at the corner where the door opened. <laughs> and he would dart in and he'd, you know, go in and check on everybody and see the kids. Because we only had two bedrooms and most of the kids were in that one bedroom with the baby, whatever baby at the time. And it was just like it was the highlight of his morning to dart in and greet all the kids when it was time to get up. And then his other favorite place to be was always there was a spot in the kitchen where he would lie down whenever I was cooking in the kitchen. He would lie down and he'd watch for food to fall or for when I gave him scraps. He was extremely food motivated. Food was his greatest love in life. We know he loved us very dearly, but he loved food probably more. And I always said that he loved me the most because I was the keeper of food in the house and he had his spot in the kitchen where he would always go. He didn't know a lot of tricks. He knew a few, uh, but his greatest strength was his ability to stay and um, we would put down food or a plate for him to lick and he would, and we'd tell him to stay and he would stay for an incredible amount of time. It was very impressive. And he would get this really dopey look on his face um, because he was it was like he was dying to lick this uh, plate or eat whatever food. And we always joke that he looked exactly like uh, Scrat, the Ice Age squirrel, if you guys remember that from that movie. Just so incredibly dopey, but so incredibly cute at the same time. So he would stay and stay and stay and stay until we said, get it. And I think his favorite words in all the world were, get it. <laughs> Stay. Get it. So we are going to have a burial service this afternoon. We picked a place on our property for him to rest. And uh, we're going to do that together later. I'll see if I can get any um, footage of that. I haven't taken a lot of video of the kids or anything like that talking about this because it's just too much. It's just too much right now. This morning, Renee came in 
can't get through this. Um, Renee came in and asked me, um, cause her chore in the morning has been to feed the pets. So she feeds the cats in the garage and she feeds the dogs and she comes in and she says, have any of the dogs been fed yet? Because sometimes somebody feeds one early if they seem hungry or something. And, um, I just looked at her and smiled and I said, Renee, do you remember how many dogs do we have? And she, she's the most positive person I have ever met in my life. She tries so hard to make anything positive, but she says, no, we still have two dogs because he'll always be in our heart and he'll always be with us. And she said that with a smile on her face and then she burst into tears. And then after that, she proceeded to put food in Poe's bowl and put it in front of his picture that was sitting on the table. Levi has tried to be so brave. My husband had a talk with him talking about how Poe is going to go away and he's going to go back to God and that he's sick and that he needs to go back to God. And at first Levi wasn't getting it, but then he started to get it and you could see his little lip start to be sad. And Jeff said, Levi, are you sad? And Levi said, no, my face just keeps doing that. <laughs> he was just trying to be so brave and to hold himself together. We want to try our best to remember him, you know, at his prime, at his best. And like Renee said, he will always be with us and he will always be in our hearts. Are you the Poe bearer? I'm the bearer of Poe. No, we're not going to open it. Why? Why it's because he's dead. Yeah. When people are dead, they don't look very nice or pretty. So we give them love by helping them to look nice. <laughs> Feel sick. Levi thinks that Poe ate eggs and it made him sick. Oh. <laughs> no, it wasn't eggs, baby. It was just because Poe was old. Yeah. It was just because he was old. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but he's going to say like, God up in the sky. Yeah. So not like go out of the hole and the bus will go up there. Yeah, a of... bus? You think a bus is going to come take him to the sky? Yeah. A flying bus. Okay. Oh, I love Poe. I do too. We all love Poe. But, I love him. But he's gone. I will. But he's gone. But he's Every dead. day I'll pray for him. And, and I will always uh, pray for him uh, at night and, and then put a dirty plate in front of me and say, get it. <laughs> Get it. But Izzy's not going to be sick. We'll try to do that every Izzy night. Izzy could stay with us. That's right. Oh, I love Poe, but he's dead. Remember Poe? Right. He doesn't yeah. be dead, but... Bring some of those small ones over here. Um, these are pretty small. Oh. That's for him. Yeah, that's fine. Anywhere. Mm. Poe po brought us a lot of joy, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. So I used my memories of Poe to try to bring us a little more joy. I wrote a poem. The runt crawled toward tapping toes across the horse's stall. Into our arms, into our car, into our hearts one fall. Not far down the road, we found a name for you. At first your name was just Poe, but some would be confused. Edgar Allen is not the one, nor Kung Fu Panda, no. These are not your namesake. You are simply Potato. Your name comes from the garden, like at the start of time. 
when beast and man were at peace and played among the vines. In our house you played with us, you saw our family grow. As we slept, you guarded us and watched at the door. When we left and then returned, you greeted excitedly, and we danced around you then to dodge your excited pee. <laughs> Best of all, you love to stay and shake with wild eyes until released to lick our plates, which may have been your demise. But we would have it no other way. We shared our lives with you. You licked our plates and our cr ate our crumbs and even our kids' poo. Beaches and mountains, city and farm, you have traveled with us to here. You warmed us and amused us and helped us with our fears. Some may say you bothered them and acted like a knob, but we saw you for what you were. You did a good job. You're a gift to us to grow us up and much growing we have done. You ran alongside of us, but now your race is run. A season has changed and we can see new life is springing up, but we won't forget the old that was once our little pup. Your skin turned green and little sprouts all began to show. So we know that it is time to plant our potato. This is Autumn training no, Poe. Come. Good boy. Come. <laughs> he Come. knows you don't have a treat this time. Oh, he got it. What's doing? Being good. Oh, are they delicious? Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. I'm so I'm so glad. Poe, go wake up, Daddy. <laughs> okay, you gonna throw it? No. Throw it for Poe. He's waiting for you. Yay! Good job! Oh, leave him be. He's staying. He's being the dog. Get it. I think he didn't leave my magic wand. Oh, what does that do? Because it scratches. It scratches? Oh, he probably likes being scratched. Good boy. Okay, you can go play now.